Hi guys, welcome to another video. Uh, today we're going to be painting a little snow scene. Uh, I'll just show you what we're going to be doing. So, get your paints ready, get your brushes. Let's get it on. So I'm going to do like a, a winter scene, maybe just like a, a lane, like a snowy lane or something. This is where I'm going to put my uh, trees. Doesn't just has to be uh, roughed out for now because I'm going to paint on there anyway. So sketch doesn't really matter. We're going to have some trees in the background there, but I'm going to have a guy sort of here. Walking his dog or something on there. Put a dog in. Stick dog. <laughs> okay. Right. Uh, I'm going to mix up some paint. I'm going to go with some. I think for a snow scene, we just it's it, it's basically like you want to be leaving the whites of the paper for some highlights of the snow, and it's going to be like greys and muted blue tones. So. I'm going to mix up some paint and uh, we'll be back in a sec. Okay, so I've mixed up like a bluey grey colour here and I'm going to paint in the, uh, the foreground area just some like shadows coming across. And, uh, Make it a little bit uh, bluer for the background, I think, and dilute it a tad. I mean, this is all just uh, experimental. Right? Let's give it a go. I don't want the uh, this bit to be uh, to um, what's the word broken up I need to have some I want to keep this for the snow at the front I'm just darken it up here because I'm gonna put like a, some trees in It's almost looking like the tops of some trees there, actually. I quite like that. I'll just uh, put, put, some, put some strokes in like that. Let the uh, the nibs settle. Yeah, I quite like that. And I can see this will be the horizon line. Okay, need something there. A bit of brown, I think. Got a Bush or something. I'll give it a spritz just for a laugh. Yeah, looks like snow falling already. Great stuff. I'm gonna just take those edges off. Just soften it in there. I'm going to get a bit more of my brown. Just dapple it in there. Looking like a, a bit of a bush, maybe. I'm going to do the same on the far side of uh, this kind of where I want this tree line to be. And I'm going to sort of leave some of the trunk areas. Could be a disaster, but you know, let's just see what happens. Just gonna 
I'm just playing here. I don't really, <laughs> I don't really have a plan as such. Here we go. Right. Yeah. Now what we're going to do now? What do we say? Leave it alone. Leave it to dry, and we'll come back to it. Okay. So that's completely dry now. So I'm just looking at. This area here, I want to put uh, like a faint sort of blue or blue grey uh, tree line behind there. I'm sort of building the picture up in stages. So I'm going to mix a little bit of a bit of blue, a little bit of indigo, and just a dab of Payne's grey. Just watering it down a bit. Oh, that's a bit dark. Now I want it to be somewhat faded, so I'm going to just put in, actually I use a bigger wash brush, I'm, sorry, my bigger brush, not a wash brush, my uh, my other brush. I'm going to put in a, a wet line here, so it'll, uh, it'll blend, I'm just sort of only painting up to a certain point so this is going to be the sky and this is going to be my sort of tree line in the background and I'm bringing it down bring the water down so uh, the paint will blend a little bit on here it's a bit too much water on that right so let's put our, uh, our background in I mean this just looks like I'm putting a, you know, a shade of grey, if you want to call it that, just at the back. But it's just to give an impression of some trees in the background. Let's darken up a little. Because it's going to dry lighter. It always does. And I'm going to get a bit of brown in here as well because I want to darken this sort of brush area up at the front just splattering a bit because just to indicate like a a brush this is sort of a bit of just a bit of sepia I'm putting in here and it's splattering oh, to give an interesting mark <laughs> I'm just going to put a bit on the back there as well, just at the base. Okay. in the cardinal sin here but putting that in that dark line in the foreground I wasn't sure I wanted to wet this whole area but I'll leave some of these dynamic sort of dry brush in because it creates a bit of interest right now and what do we say to the god of watercolor let it dry for a few minutes so I'm going to do that and come back in a sec. I'm going to put a bit more slightly darker bit of sepia into there as well because I think it, it, it's, it's a bit unbalanced from the other side of the picture so just put that in just a little bit before I let it dry. Okay we'll come back when it's dry. Okay, so I've let that dry. There's a few little marks. If you ever get any marks on the paper, the best thing to do is just let it dry before you just scratch them off with your fingernail. If you try to do that when it's wet, it's just going to smear paint everywhere. Um, but if you just leave it alone, it's usually all right. There we go. Right. I want to put some uh, faint sort of lines of the uh, the branches of the uh, 
the trees or the trunks of the trees at the back there. I'm just going to use a, a fine brush, just finding out. Uh, or in fact, I could use a, a razor blade tip. I'm going to try. I've got a, I've got a very small brush here as well. I'm just going to mix a little bit of the uh, the same kind of blue that I had there. Maybe a just a little bit darker. I just want to hint at it. I'm just going to try the paint there. It's difficult to see. It's a bit brown here. Gonna water it down a bit. Okay, let's just go for it. I'm gonna try, try with a fine brush to start with. So I'm just gonna drag it from the horizon line, just quick flicks, just to hint at some trunks in the background. I say. Depending on the style of picture you're doing, oh, that's a bit dark. You can sort of hint at things, or you know, I, I don't, I don't try to paint super realistically. It's just, you know, give an impression of, of what's there. It's a bit too dark as well. I'll get rid of that in a sec. Salted. And so this is just the background. Uh, it doesn't have to be super detailed at all. Just sort of hinting at things. I'm going to have a tree here, uh, which I'm going to paint quite darker. So I'm not going to worry too much about that there. But just hinting at a few areas at the back there. Okay, well that's drying then, let's have a think what else I can do here. I'm going to mix up uh, a much darker colour, a bit of sepia mixed in with my blue. Okay. So I think what am I going to do? I think this is a little bit hard edged here, but I'm going to just wet the area so this what I'm putting in blends a little bit. And get another brush to find the brush to paint in the uh, tree trunks. It doesn't really matter if it blends at the bottom, it doesn't. out Let's put something going over here as well and then just blend it in a little Use the edge of the uh, razor blade. I'm just dipping it into the paint just to see how, what happens. Actually, if I do this, you get some finer detail on there. Just out scratching. I 
I'm not sure that's working very well to be honest. I'm just going to go back to my very small brush. It's creaking a bit, isn't it? I have to oil it. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, and I'm in danger of doing sort of too much to this. But it's got to, try to make the shape sort of more interesting, I guess. Put some uh, knots on the old trunk. There we go. And just like insert some of that. Some bushes or something. A bit of water. Okay. I don't like the edge of there. I'm gonna just maybe oh, I'll put that in the branch or something. There we go. Problem solved. droplets of paint into there to just create some interest really doesn't have to be anything defined just break it up a bit I'm going to put a bit of water on this area here and let it bleed down a little into this sort of shadow I'm going to do, I've kind of made a mess of this because I need to work on this side of the picture and I'm right handed and I've uh, painted on the left hand side, sorry the right hand side before the other side, whoops, oh well, let's have to be careful, right, I'm just going to bring in a bit of the base of these trees here. into there. Okay. Trying to carefully count the branches. Let's put a few trees next to one another here. I 
make it a little bit lighter on this one side. Okay, I'm just going to darken it up a little bit on places. And try to define some of these just little edge branches or the twigs. Too happy with the way that finishes down here. It's just this foreground here is a bit hard. I'm just going to put a bit of water in there and let it blend a bit. It's not completely dry, so I'm getting away with it there. Put some maybe some. Tufts of grass or something, in the, just to break it up a little. It's a bit of a big one. I have to get rid of that. There we go. Bit of tissue. All better. Okay, uh, what else do I need? I'm wondering whether I should put something else in over this side that I'm going to leave it that for a sec, have a think about what I want to do next. Uh, I'm going to put like a figure in here somewhere walking through the snow and once that's dry we'll put some highlights in, um, put some snow on the branches, that sort of thing, and maybe some snow falling, a bit of splattering with some white paint, that should be fun. So we'll leave that for a bit and we'll come back to it. Okay. Okay, right, so that's dry. I'm going to put a figure sort of walking or trudging through the snow. I like the idea of him sort of trudging through the snow. So I'm going to put the guy in and maybe a dog or something. Then put some dry brush kind of snow drifts in here with the, some white gouache. Let's just get a rough idea of where he's going to be. There's his head. A little beanie on there or a jacket. And I'm going to body you can see like his legs sort of coming down sort of there and I'm gonna not paint all the way to the bottom I'm gonna hint at like the fact that he's walking through a snow drift and put like a maybe a, a walking stick or something there like a hiking stick And then we'll put his uh, put his dog in down here somewhere. It's funny how dogs always hold up one paw. <laughs> right, let's get a bit of paint on there. And I'm going to try and keep to the overall colour scheme so I'm going to use maybe a bit of some dark blue for the lower legs just try 
going to be pumping it. Not, not too dibby dabby, if you know what I mean, with that. Color to paint the guy's head or his hat, in fact, not his head. I'm gonna leave that. I've got a color here called uh, Juan Brilliant, which is a Holbein color, it's like a pastel y color, uh, it's quite good for doing faces. I'm gonna just Put the guy's face in there. Let it blend. Just a hint at the hands. Has he got gloves on though? That's the question. Probably. That's running a bit into the body. I'm not too happy about that. But, uh, let's just make it like a part of the jacket or something. I'm gonna use it to make a highlight on the top of the uh, jacket as well. I'm just gonna leave that for a minute. I'm going to get my very fine brush for the walking cane. I'm just going to test the paint. No, it's a bit too. I'm going to put it on the edge of my uh, razor blade, I think. Let's try that. Uh, I think I'm going to blot out a bit of that colour off the jumper or the shirt because it's gleaming a bit. There we go, it's not so. Uh... There we go. Like I say, don't be afraid to touch the paper. As long as you don't smear paint all over the place, it's, it's fine to touch it. softening down the hands a little bit because if okay right let's get the old dog in just gonna do it pretty simple It's a bit blue actually, I should have done the dog. Maybe a bit of brown, I mean. Let's put a bit of brown in. It doesn't have to be too detailed, we're just hinting at the fact that there's a dog there. Checking to see whether that's dry. I'm going to just use the hairdryer a second. I just want to dry off the uh, the head area of the guy. So, switch the plug on.
There we go. Right, so now let's have a think. I want to put some, bring in some highlights of the sort of snow onto here. So I'm just going to clean my brush. In fact, I could probably do with another brush. Uh, let's, I've actually got some acrylic brushes here, which are quite good for just, you know, they're quite firm bristles. If you're going to put things like gouache on, um, it can work. Just looking for the actual brush. Here we go. So I've got that on quite thick, and I'm just going to sort of be brave. Uh, just uh, put some highlighted areas. I'm not sure that's working very well. I'm going to go back to my other brush. Let's just try it normally. There we are. Back with my watercolour brush. It's a bit experimental, that one. <laughs> but you know, it doesn't hurt to try anything new. So let's uh, bring in some snow by the dog as well. Maybe sort of a bit there. Just doing what I'll make it up as I go along there. Just whatever looks interesting to be honest. Right, uh, I need to get a smaller brush because I want to put some snow onto the branches of the trees. So I've just got my gouache. So obviously, the uh, snow is going to be on the, the top of the uh, and in the the middle so I'll just put a little bit on just not too much but you know, just hint at it snow on the branches I'm just still going at it a bit. Okay, Maybe a bit more over here. Just clumped the base of the trees. This, I'm not sure I like this. Maybe it's a shadow here, but I'm not sure I like that. It's just like very. She's leaking. Just 
just trying to create some views of kind of interest on the ground there. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna get fruity and uh, sprinkle it or splatter, do some splattering for some snow effects so it looks more snowy. Here we are. Put some more sort of snow there, but we don't want to do that in front of the people in person in fact. It's a bit bright there. Yeah, <laughs> I'll turn it down a bit. Okay, I think I'm gonna paint the guy, uh, the guy's head. I'm gonna give him a nice bright red kind of woolly hat or something. Something for the winter. <laughs> Not even too bad, but... There we go. And just uh, dab it out a bit with the old finger. And have you bit of tissue. Yeah. I made a mistake with him, he's going into his face. There we are. I need to put a bit more sort of definition around the edge. I'm going to use a small brush. Tiny brush in fact. Muted it down with a little bit of brown. Yeah, it's not so bright now. It's, uh, it's a bit better. I think it was a bit too bright before. Looking a bit like Father Christmas. We've got a bobble up now. It's a cold day. Maybe we'll put him a scarf as well. He can have a red scarf. Just mix a bit and uh, put that down there. There we go. Bit of a scarf going on. down a little. I'm going to leave that alone before it gets horribly wrong. Right, um, I'm going to let that dry and then I'm going to finish it off, do a bit of splattering, put some snow effects on it. Okay, back in a sec. Okay, so uh, on reflection, these these tone of these trees are all a bit samey, so I'm going to just try and darken up some of the uh, sides of the trunk on some of the trees. So I'm just using a bit of uh, a bit of blue, a bit of brown, just mixing up a, a darker tone. Let's just get it in there. Not being uh, Precious about it, but I think I need to make it just a tad darker.
Okay. That looks a bit better. You got it's darker with a bit of recession there. So that tree's a little bit further behind, so okay. Right. Now gonna let that dry a second. Back in a sec. Okay, so I've mixed up a little bit of gouache and added some water to it so it's uh, a little bit more liquid and I'm just going to cover the sort of bottom part of the picture and then just spray a bit of a uh, bit of snow in there maybe a little bit on the lower area as well actually I think I might actually do some splattering with the brush. Just going to practice on here first. Yeah. There we go. I'm going a bit mad here. <laughs> Just to get some uh, dynamic lines in there. That looks okay. Added a bit of snow on there. Let's do a bit more. Just on the top. Oh, <laughs> that was a bit too much. A bit of tissue just to bring that back. There we are. There we go. I think that'll do. Make a right mess. Got it all over my hands as well. <laughs> That's half the fun. Okay. Let's have a look. What else can I do on this? I think I'm just going to add a little bit of uh, snow just across the top here. That's looking okay. Our little guy out for a walk with the dog. Winter walk. It's not too bad. Right, I think I'm going to sign it. And we'll leave it at that. I don't want to do too much because I, no doubt I'll end up overworking it. And it's quite a simple picture. I think we can leave it like that. Okay, so I'll just sign it in the bottom. JB, James Blondell, there we go. Right, well, I hope you've enjoyed that, and uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you had fun. Uh, remember, keep practicing, get your paints out, don't be afraid. 
Uh, be sure to check out my other videos I've got on the channel. There's quite a few on there. Uh, my website details are also there. So if you want to have a look at what I've been doing, I've got some originals and some prints on there. So yeah, check it out and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye for now.